Okay. So here are the rails. <laughs> and here is our show. Completely off. Completely gone today. What in the world? Derailed. <laughs> Yay, you're here. Welcome to the CK and GK podcast. Let's get going. Let's get down to business because it's Tuesday. <laughs> So, you know that's Donny Osmond singing that song. Okay, so my intro for you is that you're the Marie to my Toddy. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> yes! That's so good. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's Tuesday. We're so glad you're here. I thought that this was the first episode of season three, <laughs> and it's not. <laughs> it's the second one. The second one! <laughs> This is episode 82. I even said, it even says in the notes, this is episode 81. No, it's not. It's 82. 82. And we're in our third season of this show. I cannot believe it. Okay. Today we're playing a game and we're going to see um, what our favorite things, like events, pop culture, sports, entertainment things were from summer 2023, but also we're trying to see if we have something that's on each other's list. Basically, it's how well does Jenny know Caitlin? And Caitlin has no idea what Jenny is going to be into because her interests are all over the place. I tried to <laughs> rein it in. I really did. Because if the object of the game is for me to pick the same things that you would have, I had to be a little bit more normal <laughs> than I would normally be. No Excel Olympics this time. Right, right. Or extreme ironing. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't even know where to go to find that stuff. So I had to be normal because, yeah. But I'm going to introduce you. If I'm your Marie, you're going to be my naively goofy jellyfish because you love your fish tank and because <gasps> why not? Right? Yeah. Yes. That's Jenny, everyone. I'm Caitlin. That's Jenny. And uh, let's let's do some catching up. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you know that every once in a while I kind of get a fixation and go on a deep dive about something. Hello, ADHD. It's nice right? to see you. <laughs> so let me tell you what I'm obsessed with right now and like cannot stop learning about. And there's not that much information because it's very exclusive. Okay. The World Residential Yacht. It is a cruise ship that you can live on. <laughs> You have to have a net worth of $10 million to even be invited to buy an apartment on this boat. Well, ship. shoot. I guess I'm out then. Right. They go in price from $3 million to $10 million each. And like Oprah wanted to live on the boat and they said no because she's too famous. And they didn't want Ew. to attract. They didn't want to attract attention. It is. It is a cruise ship that you live on. It travels around the world. Every year, three times a year, they go to like these extreme locations like the Galapagos or Antarctica um, or like the Seychelles or whatever. How um, can a yacht get down to Antarctica? Aren't there like do it? I mean, it's a yacht. It's a yacht yeah. in air quotes, but yeah. it is like a cruise ship. It has a full size tennis court on it. What? Yes. What is, is this? Nuts. And there's like. A couple of videos on YouTube that are like two or three minutes that are um, advertisements for it. But for the most part, there's no documentaries or anything about it. I am obsessed with finding information about this boat ship. Yeah, this is like some Illuminati mess. Oh, my God. I want to live on it wild. so bad. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, I'm sure you do. I was looking at the itineraries of the past and just like combing the website i love it <laughs> the world residential yacht residential yacht okay hilarious and wild uh, mine is so boring compared to that so boring are you ready i'm ready you've been to trader joe's 
everyone knows they have everything but the bagel seasoning. And for the record, if you haven't tried it, you need to try it. And it's delicious on avocado toast. And if you do not have Trader Joe's money, it's at H-E-B. Yes, it is at H-E-B. I have the knockoff um, at my house. Okay. Yeah. Um, did you know that Trader Joe's has this mix on cashews and almonds already done for you? Okay, Everything now I do have but Trader the bagel, Joe's money because I'm going to yeah, go buy those. Right. Everything but the bagel seasoning on cashews and almonds. That sounds and amazing. It, it was so good. I found them. When did I find them? I think it was when I was in Philly and I just needed snacks or something. And I figured, oh, well, it's an almond. It's cashews. Like, it's not just like sugar energy. It's oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Something. No, it's good. Right. Except that it's in moderation, salty. of course. Right. It's, it's so it's salty, but it's so, so good. And I had like seeds all up in my teeth and I didn't even care. I was just like, hey, this is so good. Don't care. Just munching away. Oh, my <laughs> They're gosh. They're so good. Amazing. I'm obsessed. I haven't let myself go back and get another bag, but it's, it's coming. I'm really excited. Yeah. When school starts. <laughs> When school starts and I have more time to like run errands during the day because I have the full day, I'm I'm going to be, I'm going to go up to Trader Joe's. I'm so happy. Tell me you're in your late 30s without telling me in your late 30s. I'm, I'm so excited, excited to, to, to get Joe's. a new bag of nuts with everything but the bagel seasoning on them. Listen, we established a long time ago that I have a favorite like oven burner. This is just right tracking behavior, yeah. right? Like whatever. But it's really good. So if you like Trader Joe's snacks and you haven't found those yet, go get them. They're delicious. Okay. We're going to change it up. I got to go first because this story is so nuts and it made me laugh for a solid probably three minutes. Okay. So here's what happened. Last week I get a phone call and it's Jenny. (laughs) I don't know about you, but I've reached the point in my life where when certain people call it's because something happened, right? If right. my mother calls me, it's not a FaceTime, it's a call, something's wrong. If my dad right. calls me, depends on the time of day, but if it's midday, something's wrong. So I like, there are some people that that's just triggering, right? So when you call, I know you don't do it most of the time because you know, as teachers I could just do, text you. Yeah. right? As teachers do, we text when we can and then we talk later. And you and I will usually say, phone call later, let's talk later. Right, and so we'll right, know, right. right. Okay. So I answer the phone and I'm like, what's up? Is everything okay? First thing comes out of my mouth, right? The first thing you said to me (laughs) is, you know, I only call you when it's important, which is true, right? Do you want to go to the Kenny Loggins concert on Saturday? (laughs) My favorite part of that was for a solid 30 to 45 seconds. It was just you laughing. (laughs) And then you come back with, I thought Kit was in the hospital. (laughs) It was so, it was so random. I really went from like, I I did a full 180 on like the scared to not scared, like pendulum, whatever thing. I still plenty of adrenaline in your system though. Right. (laughs) Doubled over hysterical laughing. I went to my husband and I was like, well, what's going on? You know, we might have like my mother-in-law's birthday. We didn't know what was happening. So we were just like, well, let's hold off on anything. He goes, where did they even figure this out that he was coming? And I was like, you know what they did? They looked up a what's happening in Austin calendar (laughs) and they saw that he was here. And so that's what they did. They just went, all right, we're just going to go because why not? Why not? It's Kenny Loggins. You're going to listen to Danger Zone live in a bajillion degree heat? Sure. Why not? It's $20. The tickets were 20 bucks. <laughs> well, I will tell you, we splurged and for 35 <laughs> sat in chairs instead of on the lawn. <laughs> I don't know what's worse because in the chair with how hot it was, you might have had like sweaty legs and stuff. I would have brought a towel because it's just gross. But oh my god. There was a chick on my row who did bring a towel and she was sitting smart. on a towel on her chair. Yeah. Yeah. I would have. Okay. Really smart. So, Made me laugh so hard. Oh my gosh. It was super great. The <laughs> opening act is Yacht Rock Review, which is like this <laughs> spasmatics-esque themed tribute band, right? Yeah, of course. Um, it has to be. So they play all the Yacht Rock hits. Um, in fact, I, you know, I sent you the video of Toto Africa. 
favorite song ever. So good. Uh, they they killed it. They played yeah. all the bangers. <laughs> <laughs> all the yacht rock bangers. Yeah. <laughs> if we still named our episodes after weird things that we said during the show, it would definitely be called yacht rock bangers. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay. So John's like, do you think that they started this band because they really like this music or because they think it's a financial decision? Like, th- th- <laughs> this is like a niche band that they can make money off all these people who love this music. I said, oh, man, look, they're having fun up there. They're wearing costumes. Surely they love this music. <laughs> so I go to their website and I read their history. They were a different band. And then one night at a club, they decided to do an all Yacht Rock show, tongue in cheek. The crowd oh, no. loved it, and the club owner paid them more to come back if they only did the Yacht Rock. <laughs> so oh, it was no. totally a financial decision. <laughs> and they even said, oh, the club no. owner had an ace up his sleeve. Money. <laughs> yes. Oh, my gosh. How embarrassing and, <laughs> and sad and hilarious. So John has a provision in his life insurance. Um Legally, the first people that have to be paid out of life insurance are the funeral home and then medical bills, right? Yeah. But the next amount of money that needs to be paid out of his life insurance is to have the Foo Fighters play at his funeral. Oh. So I turned to John and I said, I want Yacht Rock Review to play at mine. (laughs) And they have to close with She's Gone. Oh, no. You didn't. That's so bad. <laughs> Y'all, I am doubled over again. <laughs> it was so great. Okay, Ooh. so Kenny Loggins is 75. And mm-hmm. besides the fact that it was 195 degrees outside and it was definitely getting to him. I mean, he said it multiple times. He's like, I need more water. He's sitting down. Like, you could tell the heat was getting oh, him. Oh, man. Awful. And he's from, like, Santa Barbara or somewhere with gorgeous weather, right? Ugh. But other than that, it was super great. He played everything I wanted him to play. He told the story behind different songs. And then he closed <laughs> with a movie theme medley. Yeah. <laughs> right? Because he has done the theme to Caddyshack. Yep. To Top Gun and to yep. Footloose. Yep. <laughs> so he played them all in a row. <laughs> so when I'm talking to Bryce about this concert, he's like, so what are we going to listen to? And I was like, I'm all right. right. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, okay, that's Caddyshack. But the others, and I was like, what are you talking about? Top Gun? You love that movie. And he's like, yeah, but Footloose? And I was like, you'd shut your dirty mouth right now. You do not get to say anything bad about Footloose ever. I don't care how much you dislike musicals. Just don't say a word. You don't get to say anything. But they're so they're all so good. And those songs are so iconic. They definitely go with the movie. Oh, yeah, man. It was it's funny. Perfect way it was funny. It. He knew what we were there for. And he just did it at the end. Like, you and he know, made you you, Right. Exactly. He made you stay for the whole thing. <laughs> I saw Little Texas many years ago okay. at the Bell County Expo Center. Oh. Oh. Okay. Even when they started the show, it was, good evening, Central Texas. Like, <laughs> they don't even know the name of the town they're in. <laughs> and I'm not kidding you. Like, there were 250 people there, baby. Right? Of course. Yeah. And one guy in the back is screaming, do God bless Texas. Do God <laughs> bless Texas. And I'm not kidding you. The lead singer says into the mic, dude, we're going to do it last. <laughs> Obviously. That's our hit. Right. Ford is the best in Texas. That's right, why you're exactly. here. We'll right. play it at the end. <laughs> we got you. Right. Go get a beer. Come on back. <laughs> Stand in the line. It's fine. No worries. Oh, my goodness. How funny. Good for him, man. Keeping the crowd there. Well done. <laughs> well yeah. done, Kenny. Impressed. Proud of yeah. you. Oh, man. Also, something that happened to me this week, totally not related to Kenny. <laughs> my computer had all kinds of issues. Okay. Oh, like Kenny in South Park. Right. <laughs> yes. There's your tie-in. First, you're welcome. Segway. Yes, thank you. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Segway. Yeah. First off, like my mouse didn't exist anymore. Then after Ugh. I got that fixed, my Bluetooth didn't exist. And it was like a whole lot of installing and uninstalling and blah, blah, blah. Well, here is the thing that has happened since all of those problems are solved. Okay. 
I am very happy with my computer. It is working the way it's supposed to. Sure. Except it now thinks it's in India. No. Oh, no. <laughs> Let me tell you about how funny the Google results are when you're searching news stories oh, for no. summer 2023. And you can't fix sure. that? You can't fix it in the settings I, or anything? I went through and changed the default location back to Cedar Park. But it was really funny when I'm searching. I'm like, why are all these news stories about India? Oh, mm -hmm. my computer thinks it's where tech support was. Right, exactly. Did someone have to dial into your computer and do it? Uh huh. Yeah, that, mm -hmm. that makes a lot of sense. Yep. yep. Oh dear, I'm glad your computer's fixed because that's a nightmare. Usually, yeah, I'm just like, throw it out, give me a new one. <laughs> this one's broken. I need a new oh. one. All right. Should we take a break? We should. Okay. Bye. Bye. Welcome back. We're here. As we teased earlier, we are going to share our favorite entertainment news stories from the summer and try and guess what <laughs> Caitlin's favorite news stories were from the summer and my favorite news stories were from the summer. So this is, um, to be clear, news. There's no politics in here. There's no, I, for me, there's no economic. This is all human interest, sports, entertainment, yes, and other stupid too. stuff. Okay, great. Yes, Great. I, okay. I kept it to that. Okay. Now the rules of the game, because first it was like, oh, we could play bingo. And then it was hard to do, like, how are we going to make the bingo work? And if you have an idea, please send it in. We'll use it again. Like, right. come on. So we had trouble with the bingo. And then I was like, oh, what if we did it like the newlywed game? And I said, <laughs> Caitlin, like, we'll do like a category like sports. And you have to guess, Caitlin, what you think my favorite sports story of the summer was. So And hard. she texted me back, <laughs> I would lose. You're too random. <laughs> I'm still And I responded lose. with, that is the best compliment you've ever given me. <laughs> because it's true. You are random. Like you're professional ironing and all kinds yes. of weirdness. Uh, yeah, extreme ironing. I, oh, extreme sorry. Extreme my, my, my extreme apologies. <laughs> <laughs> so. Okay. So the rules that we settled on was we would yeah. both choose seven news stories about which we were actually interested and really <laughs> liked from the summer. Yes. Yes. But we would only present three mm -hmm. on the show. Mm -hmm. And if I happen to choose one that is on Caitlin's list, I get a point. And if she happens to choose one that is on my list, she gets a point. Mm -hmm. So to be clear, the strategy is of my random answers, I have to choose the ones that I think you have. That's right. Okay, great. Who goes first? Um, you're older than me. You go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Age before beauty. Right. All right. Here we sure. go. So the one that I am like 95% confident on that okay. you have on your list. Yes. Katie Ledecky winning more medals than Michael Phelps. Ah, I don't have that one. Ah! Yes! <laughs> I thought seriously with the way you're obsessed with the Olympics, you would love that she is setting herself up in 2024 to beat his Olympic record as well. She's killing it. And I thought about it. But no, I did not put that one on there. Oh my gosh. I was really proud of that. And I don't know if my other ones are going to stand up to what <laughs> I really thought was going to work. Uh, I do have a different Olympic story though. Okay. So, okay. She yeah. has been modest and kind about the whole thing. She's praising her training grounds at University mm -hmm. of Florida. She's mm -hmm. just been amazing and just so humble and breaking records all over the place. So way to go. Yeah, she's she's killing it. It's amazing. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, this is one I think you might have. Okay. Swifties literally shook it off and caused an earthquake yes, in Seattle. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yay! Okay, so if you don't do know this, if you don't know this story, we know that in Seattle, Taylor Swift concert goers caused seismic activity <laughs> to the point where it registered higher than an earthquake and I can't remember the exact number but I want to say like a two three or something like that anyway they actually did cause an earthquake by literally shaking it off in Seattle it's nuts it's nuts. yeah wild completely insane I... and yeah it's happened before in Seattle with a football game but it, it this is way higher than that <laughs> yeah <laughs> way higher than that amazing Yay, I get a point. You do Score. get a point. 
And Score. unfortunately, like, I don't think that my others are going to be point worthy. Okay, perhaps you have this one. Okay. The Writers Guild of America and the Screen Actors Guild going on strike. I do not have that one. It made me sad, so I don't have it. Okay, well, here are some great things that came out of it. Number one, Fran Drescher is the president, question mark? What? <laughs> Amazing. How did, how did none of us know that? Right? It's like, way to go, girl. Way to go. Like, right? that's awesome. So she's... That- she's- revealing renaissance woman right so much about herself it's amazing i I also have just learned that like some of the residuals we're talking about they don't even make enough to cover like health insurance costs like we're talking less than twenty thousand dollars total out of all of this it's insane what they're not making so this is the second happy story that comes out of that george clooney and meryl streep have given tons of money to this emergency fund for the actors and writers who are out of work while they're striking. Wow, that's great. I'm glad. I mean, lots of other actors have as well, but as of late July, those were the two leading donators. The fund is up to like 15 million or something. It's nuts. Well, that's good for them. I feel like it's probably still not enough, but um, it's it's kind of amazing. Like you think of actors and actresses as these like extremely wealthy, unattainable people. Those are and famous actors right. and actresses right exactly it's very different um and writers in particular really get um hammered quite a bit it's it's time to just pay people what they're worth right i'm and talking about AI, teachers too. Like, creepy thing where oh we're gonna use your we're likeness gonna use to your likeness computers <gasps> so creepy yeah oh, so, so creepy not okay all right okay my next story i thought you might have mustard skittles are real wait what <laughs> <laughs> I don't have it, but I need to taste it. <laughs> okay, so mustard Skittles, mustard Skittles, Skittles and French's partnered. It's like a gimmick thing, but there's a limited edition mustard Skittles. Okay, so is Heinz gonna jump on board and there'll be ketchup Skittles? Ew. Maybe Miracle Whip, like mayo Skittles, and you could have like a whole condiment Stop bar. Stop it. I want Hidden Valley Ranch Skittles. Ooh, you know what? You might be better off going towards Brock's uh, candy corn flavors, like the random candy corn flavors, because they do like a Thanksgiving dinner one. There's all kinds of weird flavors from Brock's, right. but I haven't heard anything about Skittles. But yes, I'm going to put the link to McCormick's, Mustard. which is the brand, the French's right. brand. I'll put a link to it in the show notes. So you can see it's totally real. Here's here's what they say about it. It says Skittles is a candy that needs no introduction, but it deserves a lot of love. That's why when they hopped on board to combine their candy with our tang, we were over the moon. Wild. <laughs> when then we <laughs> then we tasted them and shot right through it. Few partnerships make sense. This one truly does not, which means it absolutely does. <laughs> so well done. <laughs> I thought this was just random enough that I might get you. The original <laughs> odd couple, mustard right. and Skittles. Mustard and Skittles. <laughs> so nasty. Oh, so gross. So gross. <laughs> I like, I don't eat yellow mustard. Okay. If it's like in something, sure. But I don't like it as a thing by itself because when I was in middle school, that was always what we went to in Truth or Dare of like, take a cup full of mustard oh, no or, like mix it with milk and you have to drink mustard and milk oh, like that was gross. yeah mustard on cat food like i have had a lot of french's mustard in middle school <laughs> so gross that's a really nasty combination yeah <laughs> mustard and pretty much anything else besides like hot dog hot dog yeah yeah, yeah. all right okay. got another one i kind of want to pivot are we allowed to do that Sure. Why not? Okay. So I was going to go with one story, but now that you revealed something about yourself and saying that you have another Olympic story, I'm going to go with (laughs) Simone being back. Yeah, you get points. Okay. She's back, baby. Okay. And you know what? She said something that I thought was so interesting. What'd she say? She said, when you get married, people ask, now when are you going to have babies? Yep. She said, I show up for classics and people are asking about the Olympics. Hmm. And it's like, you know what? That is so accurate. I even wrote it like an old school analogy. Marriage is to babies as classics as to Olympics. Like, yeah. That was a really interesting comment. Like, yeah, just let her enjoy coming back. Do we have to talk about 2024 right now? 
I think that there's a lot of pressure. I mean, right. that's, that's, that's gotta be what, that's, I mean, that's what, what had her, her leaving in the, first, in the first, place. first place. Exactly. Yeah. Talking about it right now. like, that's really not the, but she's back. Oh. Yeah. She's back. And I got a point. Okay. Yeah, you did. Well played GK. Good job. Okay. So we just did another sports one. I don't think you're going to have any of the ones that I have left. I'm going to be really honest about this. Okay. Um, did you hear about the slide? The slide? Like as an electric? No, as in slide gets a point, Boston police officer gets no points. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay. The best I can do here is describe this viral video. <laughs> okay. All I am thinking about is the pilot of Parks and Recs when the drunk guy gets stuck in the slide on the playground. Okay. In the cold open. Yes, I know. It is a metal tube slide with an opening at the bottom. Right, right, right. Which means you're going to fly down this thing, right? Right. It is a Boston police officer who goes down the slide and shoots out the bottom so fast that he drags his face across that rubber turf Oh, my stuff. gosh. Ugh. It's... <laughs> So the the caption is a Boston police officer sustained a head injury after a mishap at a playground. Hey, this is not a mishap. This thing <laughs> fires. It's like watching someone get shot out of a cannon, right? And a mishap implies that an accident. That journalist is so kind. <laughs> right. Right. And the tweets about this are killing me. And this is my favorite tweet about it. And it's by someone who goes by the name Pudding Person and it's at Juniper. <laughs> and it's I have so many questions why is he going backwards and on his stomach why is he going so fast did a child kick him down the slide funniest <laughs> thing I've ever seen <laughs> did you ever have a metal slide when you were a kid we had the ones that were like open it wasn't a tube right we're right we had like yeah. a, just a piece of metal that was at mm -hmm. an angle that you would burn you'd burn yourself on my mom used to rub it with wax paper to like oh you oh <laughs> To like speed it, it up. faster. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. So you'd burn yourself on the metal ones and you'd either go super fast or super slow. And then they replace them with the plastic ones. And those would like pinch you and like rip your skin off and rip right. your hair out in different places. There is no safe slide, folks. And there you just get those isn't. marks up your back where it's like oh, lots were of bangs. little cuts. Yeah. All the yes. seams. And so oh, yes. Yeah. Horrible. Well, I thought you might have seen the video. I didn't think I you'd it. seen it. But I'm definitely going to send this to you because you will crack up. It's so horrible. We're all like this. Everyone is laughing at this Boston police officer. <laughs> but like, I just have so many questions. What, like, what, what was he Why? doing? <laughs> Why? Why did you do this? So funny. Um, and I'll make sure that I, yeah, this tweet I, gets linked in the show notes. Like, don't have so many questions. I just have the why. Like, maybe also how. <laughs> Okay, so when I just closed the window just now, the still was on his leg hanging off the slide as he's tumbling down backwards. <laughs> I think I probably have seen him tumble down that slide like 40 times. I watched it over and over and over and over. It's so good. Oh, sorry. I, I'm glad the officer's okay, but oh man, I laughed so hard. Okay, so now we each have one and we've we done three stories. One. You want to throw one more at me? Just one? Yeah. Just one. Okay. Miranda Lambert going nuts after people taking selfies? <laughs> no. I don't follow the country music, but that is... I but heard about that, this. like, come on. Oh, <laughs> man. Honey, what are you doing? And it is not your place to be judging what someone else did. You already got the money. Why do you care? Right? She pays attention. Right? Who cares? She's there it with her nuts. friends documenting you. I think she's turned around right, taking the it. picture with Miranda Lambert in the background. In the background. Yes. Oh my, look where I am. I'm at the Miranda Lambert concert and, and Miranda Lambert chastises you in front of everyone. What are you doing? And all that girl got was tons of free publicity. Oh, for sure. And now everyone's going to go to her concert and take pictures the way she doesn't right. like them. Yeah. Right. Or she's going to ban phones from her events. No. Come on. Oh, what a bad idea. Okay. Um, I have two that I could choose from. Well, I actually have three that I could choose from, but I don't think you're going to have any of them. I do work in social, so I feel like I have to say this. Find us on X. <laughs> do you have the Twitter rebrand as one of your stories from the summer? I do not. But do you know that I have not updated the app because I don't want that 
icon on my screen. It's gonna force the update. It I forced know. mine. Oh man, it's coming, How? but I I'm holding off as long as I can. I can't. So now it no longer says like quote tweet retweet or any of that. It just says like repost. It's ridiculous. Re-exit. Yeah, I, I, I think I've gone through and X'd everyone's posts. Like, what? Like, it doesn't even... <laughs> so stupid. It is so dumb. dumb. Did All you right. hear the other story that, like, Meta actually has a copyright on the letter X? So we had to, like, make a special logo. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> he also... There was some guy who owned the Twitter handle X and... He didn't own it, so he had to, like, force that person to change. And I guess all he offered him was, like, a tour of the office and, like, no. a couple hundred dollars. Yeah. No. Something, yeah. No. I want a lame. tour on your spaceship. Right. You have to buy this name from me. I've had it. He said he had it for, like, 16 years or something crazy. Well, yeah, because if you got one of the only 26 single, like, right? I guess single if letters. You also the digits zero through nine. But, like, yeah, he has Wild. had it for a while. Yeah. Wild insane so nuts elon but has yeah. to take me to space to get my handle right i don't think anybody else wants ck and gk podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but if they do i'm riding a rocket you know i reserved that handle for all of our socials so early because i was like this is it we're just gonna make it easy i'm just doing it now this is what we're doing mm-hmm. okay but, so yeah. i have two more stories i didn't talk about okay let's hear what they are so um, we just tied at one right we each, we just tied we just at one tied at one that's, that's okay, okay. We're equally great. <laughs> yes. It's like a soccer match. Sometimes it's a tie. Oh, you could have put that one on there and you would have gotten me. Oh, really? The U.S. women's national I did teams not think lost that you would to put Sweden. U.S. losing as something that you love. Well, it wasn't a loved story. It was just a big story. Mm. Mm. So I put that on as a big story. I see. Thinking you I see. might have put that on there. No. Yeah. No. But that is one of them. Okay, what other one? Um, shiny happy people. I have not. <laughs> put that on. That's not one of mine. Mm-mm. But you know, I love the Tuggers. Yes, I do. I watched it all in one day. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, the day it came out. It's a different kind of true crime. Um, and the Astros. The Astros have had one. Oh, hell of a I should have. Yeah, I should have put that one on there. I would have gotten it. Dang it! I didn't think about. that I one. mean, I feel like just the Astros is like its own story. Yeah. Justin Verlander is back. It's all just craziness. What the Did heck, you see man? that he said he's going to wear an all gold suit to celebrate the World Series win? And then he did. Ew. <laughs> um, and they threw a no hitter. Yeah. It's only the 16th in club history. I mean. And, you know, guys. minimum number of batters, 27. You can throw a no hitter with more, but they like did it the way you it can. It was clean. Yeah, it was, it was cool. clean. Clean yeah. is great. Yeah. That's a good way to describe it. Yeah. So, yeah. It was, yeah, I should have put that one on there, but I didn't. Um, all right. So here are my other ones. So I said the find us on X. I said the Swifties one. I said the mustard Skittles. We talked about the U.S. Women's National Team. We talked about Simone Biles. Talked about the slide. So my only one that's left is it's not that exciting. It's Wimbledon shorts. This is not like YouTube shorts or anything. Okay. Like that's that. what I was saying. It was like the video. No, 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 no. So we've talked about this when we do sports talk on our show many moons ago, how there are very, very outdated rules that exist in particular when it comes to policing women's bodies. Yeah. Like they have to wear all white. Not anymore. They don't have to. Oh, wow. And you can play tennis in something other than white. Uh, Evidently. Did it change the game? No. Weirdly enough. Now, do you have to wear all white if you play tennis on the world? Because they do have a (laughs) full size tennis court. Right. I don't know that. I don't know if it's whites only on their court. I have no idea. So here's the deal. Basically, you still have to wear white over everything. However, women may now wear different colored shorts underneath their skirts, which is now um, going to help many women as they play while they are menstruating because... Think about how anxiety producing that is to be wearing white during that time of the month. Yeah. Right? No. And you're playing a sport where your body is like literally going in every different okay. direction all the time. The other three weeks of the month, I am also concerned about the amount of sweat that would go well, through white shorts. True. Can I also tell you, I really dislike white bottoms on football uniforms. I don't like it because you can see every strap, strap. on your knees. <laughs> It all glows right through. Can't stand it. Makes me crazy. 
I feel that way about the Dallas Cowboys uniforms, and I know I'm going to get flack for that, but I don't care. I hate white pants. I hate them on football teams because of all the things you can see. And they often wear them after Labor Day. Oh, fashion football. Unacceptable. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, y'all, all right, it's been y'all. a heck of a summer. We just caught you up. You're all set now. You don't need to know anything else. Tweet at us. I mean, X at us <laughs> if you have some interesting <laughs> stories that we didn't cover. God. Oh, goodness. X marks the spot or something for craziness. Hey, it's like talk like a private. Uh, uh, <laughs> talk like a private day. <laughs> nope. Talk like a pirate day that was gonna be a joke and it's gone so just forget it i'm done okay bye (laughs) okay so when you are trying to guess what your co-host might say are her favorite stories from the summer make good choices (laughs) i'm not saying anything else my mouth doesn't work anymore okay bye bye. Hey friends, thanks for listening to the CK and GK podcast. Find us at CK and GK podcast on Instagram and Twitter and rate, review, and subscribe on Apple podcasts, Spotify, good pods, or anywhere else that you pod. See you next time.